Well, we got an absolutely gorgeous day lined up for us today, and uh, I want to talk about our sponsor. I'm really excited about this. Maybe you guys have noticed there's been a big fragile box in the background of the last few videos. Um, I just wanted to line this up and before I talk about it and open up the box with you guys, but um, the sponsor of this episode is Old Timer Industries. There's a link in the description. Check them out. I have finally an epoxy sponsor and it's a good one. All right, well, I'm not an expert on epoxies. I won't pretend to be. Most experts have uh, gray or white mustaches and talk real slow. But luckily, they all put their videos up on YouTube too, and you can quickly learn a lot about epoxy just on YouTube. So after perusing YouTube for a couple evenings, I have uh, figured out a lot of stuff. But just in case I hadn't, information sheets. So Old Timer Industries, they know that I don't know that much and they're helping me fill it all in. So I'll fill you in in just a little bit, but today we're gonna to do building out with epoxy. I got some holes to patch and I got a battery box to build. So that means fillets and that means peanut butter. Okay, so Old Timer Industries sent me their Marine Epoxy. It comes in two parts. I've been told it's a little bit thicker than um, some of the other brands out there, and so it tends to do really well, especially for anything that needs structural strength. And if you don't need structural strength, well then you can use a thinner and uh, stretch it out a bit further. But uh, yeah, so excited to get to start to use this. And yeah, structural is exactly where we're going today. We're uh, gonna make some fillets and we're gonna make some peanut butter. I'll get to that next. Now I wanted to use popsicle sticks as my stirring sticks but I couldn't find them in the shop last time I was there so using these cutoffs but that's a square edge so I'm gonna round that. You'll see why in a minute. Uh, mixy, 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 mixy. First we need to activate these two parts. We have a little bit to do with that and then peanut butter. All right, as you can see, this is my battery box. It's got a compartment for each battery. So that's nine currently. Um, my epoxy's all mixed up and it's time for me to do a pre-coat. So before I add any thickener, um, I just use the straight epoxy and lay down a really thin coat to help it bond with the wood that I'll be bonding it to. Some girl I saw it about 20 years ago and how I always regretted not going over and talking to her. I don't regret the 18 years I was married to me. I don't regret the six years I had to give up counseling in Tibet City. I don't regret the last years when she got really sick. All right, with the quick pre-soak done, now it's time to add some filler. I'm using Interfibe. It's one of the thinnest um, fillers they kind of have. And it's real fine and dusty. I should probably be wearing a mask, but yeah, whatever. Now it's important that you get the epoxy to uh, mix properly first before you add this stuff in because once it's in it doesn't really allow the epoxy and the resin to actually connect with one another and mix. Now here's where the peanut butter comes in. The consistency I'm going for, peanut butter. Uh, we're close. Still a little bit thicker. All right, that's about right. See, it's barely dropping off. Perfect, now we can work with it.
All right, great, so we got this guy done. It's gonna kind of like stiffen up in the next few hours, but it won't completely cure for probably another 30 hours. So we're gonna set this guy aside. Unfortunately, it's really big and it eats up a lot of my space as you can see, but we still got a lot of other epoxy work to do today. Next thing up is these holes. It's time for me to patch some holes in the deck. Okay, breaking for a little bit of hot dog lunch. And we'll get right back to it. And I gotta say, so far, it's so good. I really love working with this epoxy. It's so much nicer than the stuff I had before. And the best part about this epoxy, mail order. Mail order, Amazon shipping. So for the first time, you can get epoxy, competitive prices, Amazon shipping. What's not to love? Plus, it's actually really high quality stuff. So thank you so much, old timers industry. You guys are the best. I'm gonna keep working with their stuff. And, um, Champ, you want a hot dog? Okay. Well, I've got all the holes patched up in the deck so far. Well, all the holes that were originally there. I'm gonna be putting some more in and then patching those. Um, oh, jeez. I really gotta clear some space on here because getting around is a bit challenging. But I will be putting more holes in, mainly to replace any sections of rotting deck because the more I dig into this thing, the more I find that most of the deck work is actually in good shape. And I've only got like a few little rotten spots, so I'd rather patch it, keep the good, really good quality old marine plywood, which is perfect. And uh, yeah, just patch the sections that I need to patch. Because I think even, even the $100 marine ply I'm buying now isn't as nice as the stuff that's actually in the original decking of this boat. But where the design falls flat is the coating. So I'll be covering everything in six ounces of cloth with more epoxy, but we're not gonna do that today. We're gonna uh, go for a little roll over to Captain Will over there on his trimarans and ask him politely if I can see the new boat he bought and maybe borrow his sailing dinghy. 
because we got really good wins today. We'll get it fixed up soon, buddy. What do you think about those steps? Those would be cool, don't you think? That'd be nice. Yeah, all right, you're not interested. I get it. As a completely off topic side note, I've been listening to an audiobook all day today, listening to The Martian. <laughs> His little misadventure on Mars, trying to get off that place, building little ships and all that kind of thing, makes my, uh, my build project look super easy. <laughs> but I gotta say, I feel a lot of similarities to the guy. It's just, uh, you're working with what you got, you know, you're making the best of it. I'm not on Mars though, I'm probably on the most beautiful place on Earth, Dagenham Bay. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Champ, it's better than Mars. It's better than Mars. It is tough, huh? Oh, okay, so you can fit an outboard right there. Yeah. I want to do a little covering on this because I want to tell people on my channel how stupid I am for not buying something like this. So, Will bought himself this Cal 20. You spent 500 bucks on this thing. No, a thousand bucks with the motor. A thousand with the yeah, motor, okay. Yeah. So, so the motor's worth 500, Cousin's gonna take that. Yeah. I'm gonna take the boat for that. Okay, yeah, so uh, with an eight horsepower Yamaha, which is fairly new, yeah. since 2006 or something? I can't remember what it yeah. is, but it's, it hasn't been used hardly It looks all, good, so oh, good. yeah. So this is, this is exactly probably what I should have got. <laughs> and all winter long, I've been kicking myself about it. Now it's nice to be on my boat. It's actually comfortable out now. Like it's not a huge boat, but like at the, uh, it's a, it's a purely fiberglass boat. It's 20 foot long. It's got enough room to sleep three people, um, uh, fairly comfortably. Um, you wouldn't get a head in here probably, but you could put a porta potty somewhere oh, yeah. and, uh, you'd use a little portable stove. You might even build yourself a, a shelter uh, when you're on anchor that fits over oh, this boom. boom. Yeah. That would yeah. be nice. And, and uh, it would be can, great to learn to sail on. Go way up. And the best part is, is this is one of you saying the one of the most popular sailboats out there. They're absolutely everywhere. The Just so so many of them been built. I mean, this is a really old boat. Yeah, and you bought this in a marina, and when you were leaving, you said you spotted seventeen before you even left. So, yeah, they're a bit prolific and the fact that they're pure fiberglass and they're dead simple means that even in bad condition they're still in you good see condition. see this piece of plywood on the front there? Yeah. I'm going to put that plexi. Okay. And you can see this oh, one yeah, that too. would be like a This uh, one skylight. here has a, a second window as well forward which, oh, okay. which brightens it That's up. a Cal 20 there too. Yeah. Then. All right, it so brightens there's it up a lot. our next door neighbor right over there. That that's that's another one, right? And this black one. That one's a Cal 20. It's uh, some other model. Like and Cal that's newer. another kind of Cal 20. Yeah, it's a newer one. Newer one. It has some fairing on it to do a Dodger. And a Dodger yeah. would be really nice on this. When we came back, we were. Uh, taking, yeah, you're, this, taking, is, this is a summer weekend, a summer day cruiser. Yeah, if you thing. had a little windshield or a little Dodger. Yeah, but you want, even you, want you could do sit. it over. You, you could want to be able to sit here with your head just above the. Wow. This is really cool. Okay, well I'm back on the boat. It was amazing to hang out with Captain Will. The guy knows so much about sailing. It's really nice to like pick his brain about boat designs. He's had a lot of different multi-hulls over the years. A lot of different sailboats in general. And in fact, I have a little $500 boat. It's super tempting. And if I wasn't so completely strapped for cash and completely consumed by this project, I would definitely buy that little boat off of him and just <laughs> use it to cruise around here on a weekend or something. Because you can island hop like crazy on that little guy. I could sail that over to Vancouver and skip the, uh, I don't know, how many, how many, 
How many transits on the $500? That boat is so cheap. I basically only have to go to Vancouver and back five times to get that boat to pay for itself uh, just in ferry rides. <laughs> That's crazy. It's crazy. All right, uh, champ, let's make a little bit of dinner. You look hungry. Always look hungry. It's a lab thing. They always look hungry. And uh, yeah, chill out. Well, it's been a great day. We got some boat building done and we got some sailing done. And I just want to give a big thank you to the sponsor of this episode, Old Timers Industries. If you guys are interested in anything epoxy related, go check out their website, their mail order. It's awesome. The link is in the description. Um, yeah, just really happy. We're going to test out and see what it actually looks like tomorrow. But um, so far, it's a huge upgrade on the epoxy I was using earlier. So. Really happy to have them on board, and uh, yeah, thank you so much, guys. All right, guys, that's it for me tonight. I'm gonna do some more editing, do a little research, maybe find more lights. It'd be nice to have more lights on board. <laughs> Still kind of dark in here. All right, that's it. Good night. <laughs>